Postbreeding management of heifers often receives less attention than pre-breeding management of heifers. However, postbreeding management is critical in transitioning your heifers into productive cows. Development of your replacement heifers after the breeding season is an investment. So first, make sure you have a pregnancy diagnosis performed. Of course, you want to market open heifers or transition them into feeder calves. If the number of bred heifers you have exceeds the number of replacements your operation needs, you should also consider marketing bred heifers that conceive late in the breeding season. Later conceiving heifers will wean lighter weight calves, be less likely to breed back next year, and have lower lifetime productivity. Bred heifers you do retain need to continue to grow and gain weight after the breeding season. In most cases, heifers will need to be managed separately from mature cows in order to meet their nutritional requirements. Heifers managed to calf at two years of age need to reach approximately 85% of mature weight before calving. For example, a heifer projected to weigh 1,300 pounds as a cow should be developed to approximately 1,100 pounds prior to calving. This 85% goal helps ensure calving ease, adequate milk production, and good fertility during her next breeding season. Many producers find that first calf heifers are the most challenging group on the farm to breed back after calving. Remember, gestation length in cattle is about 283 days, so for a first calf heifer to maintain a 365-day calving interval, she must be cycling and ready to breed back by about 82 days after calving. That's not a lot of time. One of the most important things you can do is to have heifers in proper body condition score at calving. Cows that calf in a body condition score of 3 or 4 tend to not be able to come into heat that soon after calving. Poor body condition at calving is even harder on heifers since they are still growing themselves, let alone nursing their first calf. We recommend heifers be managed to calf at a body condition score of 6. That will give her adequate reserves as she nurses her first calf, and research has shown those heifers come back into heat faster as well. Although adequate nutrition is critical prior to calving, heifers should not be overfed. If there is a lot of variation among your bred heifers in weight or condition, consider sorting the heifers into different management groups. This prevents you from wasting valuable feed on already fleshy heifers. Excessive body fat may actually decrease fertility at rebreeding, and it also results in fat deposition in the udder that can impair lifetime milk production. Nutrition after calving is important too. The first few months are demanding, so make sure the heifers are meeting all their nutritional requirements for lactation and growth. Even a fleshy, well-developed heifer may fail to rebreed if she slips into negative energy balance. Plus, a lack of required nutrients can limit milk production and impair the growth and development of her calf. In most cases, you probably want to manage first calf heifers separately from mature cows in order to meet their requirements. Nutritional management of heifers is critical, but doesn't have to be complicated. Your regional extension livestock specialist can help you develop a plan that sets your heifers up for success.